What if I told you China just dropped a bombshell that's shaking the tech world to its core? ASML and TSMC2 titans we thought were untouchably are now yesterday's news. China's walking away, and they're not looking back. Why? How? And what does this mean? For everything from your phone to the future of global power? Buckle up, because this is the tech twist of the decade. You won't believe what's coming next. Hey, tech fans, welcome back where we're diving into the moves that are reshaping our future. If this gets you buzzing, smash that like button. It helps spread the word. If you're new here, hit subscribe and tap the bell so you're the first to know when we drop the next big update. Oh, and share this. This is too big to keep to yourself. Now, let's get into it. Why is China saying goodbye to ASML and TSMC for good? So, here's the situation. ASML, the Dutch mastermind, makes the machines that carve the tiniest circuits onto CHIP's extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV tools. This is the holy grail of modern tech. TSMC? Well, they're the Taiwanese giants that take those machines and pump out some of the best processors for Apple, Nvidia, you name it. These guys have been the backbone of the global semiconductor industry, with China reluctantly tagging along as a customer. But here's the kicker. As of April 2025, China's done with all that. They're cutting ties, building their own path, and this move? It could flip the entire tech landscape upside down. This isn't just a business decision, this is a declaration. After years of sanctions, trade wars, and tech blockades, China's had enough. But can they really pull it off? Let's break it down. To understand why this is happening, we have to rewind to 2020. The US slapped sanctions on Huawei, China's tech poster child, cutting off access to TSMC's foundries and ASML's EUV machines. The goal? Simple. Knock China down a peg in the chip race. And it worked, sort of. Huawei's phone sales tanked, and their chip arm, HiSilicon, was left scrambling. But the West miscalculated. Instead of breaking China, those sanctions lit a fire. Huawei, SMIC, and a flood of state cash rallied together to build something unstoppable. SMIC. China's top foundry, was stuck on older deep ultraviolet lithography, DUV, Technot, quite the EUV precision, but that's all about to change. Fast forward to 2025, those experts who thought China was a decade behind, well they're eating their words, China's not just catching up, they're rewriting the playbook, and they're doing it without SML or TSMC. By late 2024, SMIC and Huawei started flexing. Huawei's Mate 70 came out with a 7 nanometer chip, all made in Chinano EUV required. Then came the Ascend 910C, an AI chip that's set to hit mass production in 2025. Experts were floored. SMIC had pushed DUV to near 5 nanometer levels, using a trick called multi patterning, a technique that mimics the finesse of EUV. And whispers? Yeah, they're saying China's working on a fully homegrown 3 nanometer chip. If that happens, it's game over for China's reliance on the West. How'd they do it? It's not a miracleite strategy. China threw billions at R&D, lured global talent, and optimized every part of the process. DUV machines are cheaper $50 million versus EUV's $380 million and China's got plenty of them. They've turned a weakness into a weapon, scaling up fast, while ASML and TSMC watch their leverage slip away. This isn't just about chips, it's about control. China's been at the mercy of ASML's export rules and TSMC's US-aligned supply chain for too long. Every EUV machine sale needed Washington's approval, and TSMC's fabs are political footballs. Taiwan's a hotspot, and the US holds the reins. China saw the trap, rely on them, and you're vulnerable. So, they built their own castle. SMIC's fabs are pumping out chips at a pace TSMC can't ignore. Huawei's designs are feeding a self-sufficient ecosystem. By early 2025, SMIC's output doubled, hitting 300,000 wafers a month. Not quite TSMC's 1.5 million, but they're closing the gap fast and, unlike TSMC, no export bans, no trade restrictions, just pure production. Now, let's zoom out. ASML's EUV was their golden ticket. But if China proves that DUV can compete, who needs those $380 million machines? Canon and Nikon from Japan are already pitching DUV upgrades, smelling blood in the water. 
TSMC might still be king in the high-end chip market, but their U.S. expansion? Like that $100 billion Arizona fab deal in March 2025, it ties them even tighter to American politics. Meanwhile, China's free to sell anywhere Russia, Africa, Southeast Asia without a leash. This isn't just a market shift. This is a power grab. Economically, it's chaos. TSMC's stock wobbled 10% in February 2025 after China's chip push hit headlines. ASML's orders dipped as buyers started hedging their bets. For us? Well, cheaper Chinese chips could flood the market, dropping prices on phones, AI gear, you name it. But security hawks? They're freaking out. Huawei's rise means more tech with Beijing's fingerprints. The US might retaliate with harsher bans, and we could be staring down the barrel of a tech cold war. Here's the genius. China's not just surviving sanctions, they're thriving because of them. Forced to go it alone, they've built a supply chain no one can touch. They've got raw materials, domestic silicon, rare earths, their DUV tech, it's good enough. They're designing their own lithography tools. SMIC hit 28 nanometers in 2024, with 14 nanometers rumored for 2026. They've lured top-tier engineers from Taiwan and beyond, and they're pumping out chips like nobody's business. It's a fortress. Vertical, local, and relentless. Meanwhile, TSMC's global web and ASML's reliance on German optics? They're betting on speed and scale. SMIC's new fabs take just 18 months to build. TSMC's? Three years. Huawei's Ascend chips are undercutting NVIDIA by 40% on cost. If they hit 3 nanometers by 2026, they'll match TSMC's Bastal without begging for EUV. This isn't just a goodbye, this is a knockout punch. Fast forward to 2028. China's chips are powering half the globe's AI, from drones to data centers. SMIX outproducing TSMC in raw volume, ASML slashing EUV prices to stay alive while the US scrambles to catch up. Too late. China's not just independent, they're dominant. Sure, TSMC's got deep pockets. Apple and AMD won't jump ship overnight. ASML might claw back some ground, but this war is far from over. For you and me, it's personal. Affordable tech? It could explode. Think AI assistance in every pocket, but with China's grip on the tech supply chain, privacy's at risk. The West's next move innovation, or isolation will decide the next decade. China's goodbye isn't an end. It's a beginning. Where's it headed? Well, we're about to see. That's the story China's bold break from ASML and TSMC, and the shockwaves it's sending across the globe. What's your take? Drop it in the comments. I'm all ears. Oh, and tell me what video you want to see next. China's chip secrets? TSMC's fight back? You decide. If you love this, like, subscribe, and share it far and wide. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay sharp, tech crew. Signing off.